In today's video, I'm going to showcase a fully modeled driver. So if you saw my last one, I only had a puppet just so I could see if I could make real-time driver steering. So finally, I got a fully modeled driver in here. And it's inspired by a, a, a fighter pilot's helmet and motocross armor. And so it doesn't end up looking like motocross armor. It looks more like, I don't know, maybe a spacesuit or something. But that's kind of what I was going for. And any of these flat spots you see on here, um, that's where I plan to put uh, sponsorship labels, even on the breastplate and the legs, as the player gains experience in the single player or multiplayer game. So I'll just show him driving here. So he's he steers pretty nicely and again it's it's pretty simple with just three connectors. I'll show my AI driving here. He steers quite smoothly. So currently, this human driver model is in all of my bot trucks, but I've got something else started here, and that is a robot stadium crowd. And so after I finish that, I will pick my favorite ones and make them into driver models to replace the human ones here. Now I can tell you a little bit about the AI trucks. Now beforehand I had already started on AI and went through a bunch of different versions and and I was getting to uh, one or two that were really good but I had to stop that and get back to finishing the modeling on the truck because that affects the physics and the handling and I also wanted to finish making uh, a driver model. And so once I was done that, I could get back to this, this AI. And like I said, I had been developing it for a long time. And so when I had the best version, I had, let's say, one really good AI truck, and then the other 11 were um, much more basic versions. So I was kind of concerned, well, how is this going to turn out when I port all the logic of one good truck to 11 other trucks. Plus, at that, at that time, I hadn't even made a driver model or all these extra features. So every one of these AI trucks here has an animated uh, engine with uh, belts, with the belt and pulleys, the, the drive shaft and the steering, the cooling fans, all of that. And uh, so I was wondering, well, how the hell is this going to turn out with my gameplay cost and my gameplay thermo and uh, I didn't even know if I could put 12 trucks on the screen like that and so my plan was to have okay you know four human trucks without any AI logic and eight bot trucks because I could reduce the logic by about 50 percent but anyways I'll just show you the gameplay cost of all my AI trucks right now. So as you can see, it goes up right away and the average cost is probably about 35%, so that's way under what I expected. I was expecting up to 80% gameplay cost nowhere near there and these are very robust bots here. There's, there, there's a lot going on here it's uh it, it looks like a mess and that's kind of intended there's also some other things going on i haven't mentioned before the panels fall off and uh so th that's a physical cost as well and again i'm still way way under budget so that allows me to do way more programming with the trucks which I need to do anyways. And uh, let's see, I'll just exit out of this again. Or I may as well just leave it right so you can watch as I'm talking here. 
But another cool thing about these bots, I mentioned before that I was planning to have four human controlled trucks because those have more logic. But what you're seeing here is a combination of human and bot trucks. So with the press of a button, if you watch the blue truck there, I can go back to being a human controlled truck. And so I can still do all of this with this low gameplay cost. All of these trucks can have human or AI capability. So if you want to know more about how my AI works, there's hours and hours of, of problems I had to, to solve there. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.